Hello, today we will be discussing the operation of the 1280's truck and out program as well as an explanation of its setup menu parameters. We will begin by running through a way in and out procedure at the default settings, then discuss options in the setup menu, and finally we will do some more way ins and outs with the parameters changed. To begin, I will drive my truck on the scale. As you can see, Two new touch widgets become available when I go above 5,000 pounds. These widgets allow us to weigh our truck and print a ticket to the printer on port 2 of the 1280. When the threshold is crossed, it also changes the red-green touch widget on the screen from green to red, and sends the command to change the light on the laser light attached to port 1 of the 1280. If desired, you can also touch the red-green button to manually change the color of the light. We will weigh in a truck, use an ID of 1, and receive an inbound ticket. Now we must go back below 5,000 pounds since that is our threshold. Once below the threshold, the setup menu once again becomes available, but for now we will simply press the inbound trucks widget. Here we can see all the trucks that we have weighed in and have either not weighed out with or that have their tear weight saved. We could also delete either a single entry or, if we so chose, the entire truck database. Since we currently only have one truck that has been weighed in, we will leave this screen instead by pressing the exit button. Now we will drive our truck back onto the scale. Once we have crossed the threshold again, I will press the Weigh Out touch widget. In order to weigh out, we must use an ID that already exists within the inbound trucks database, or it will return us to the main screen. Once we use an active ID to weigh out, the indicator will print a ticket and notify us that the weigh out is complete and that we must exit the scale. We will view our inbound trucks database again and see that our initial truck is still in the database. This is because of one of the setup menu options, which I will be explaining next. We will now press the setup button in order to see our options. Here we can see the 13 widgets available in the setup menu. Entering a setup password will prevent someone without the proper code from accessing the setup menu, while putting a password in the inbound password will prevent someone from viewing or deleting any entries in the inbound trucks database. I will enter 1 as the setup password and then press done. The system will reprompt for the password again so that you do not inadvertently enter a password with an erroneous character. I will now enter a password of 2 into the inbound password, press the done button, enter 2 again and press the done button again to verify the password. From here we will move on to our third option titled stored tears. Stored tears is currently on meaning that any trucks we weigh in will stay in our inbound trucks database until manually removed. We will switch this to off in order to see the automatic removal in action. When set to off, an inbound truck will be removed from the inbound trucks database on a way out. Additionally, we will change the truck exit parameter from required to disabled. With this parameter disabled, we no longer need to drop below the threshold before performing another weighment. Now that we have made our changes, we will press the exit button in the upper right corner of the screen and return to the way screen. Now that we have returned to the way screen, we want to verify that our truck is still in the database since stored tears was previously on. After pressing the inbound trucks button, we are prompted for a password. This is the same password we put in while we were in the setup menu. I will enter 2, which is my password for the trucks database, and press done. Now that the password has been entered, we are able to view all the trucks in our database, which is currently only one. We will press the exit and return to the main screen and add weight to our scale. Now we will proceed to perform a way out, so we press the way out button, then type in our truck's ID of 1. The indicator will print a ticket and tell us that the way out is complete. Since we previously disabled truck exit, we no longer need to drop below the threshold before performing another transaction. The first thing we are going to verify is that our previous truck is no longer in the database, so we push the inbound trucks button again, enter the password of 2, 
and we are now able to see our truck that we previously used is no longer stored here. Since we turned stored tears off, it removed our truck from the database once we weighed out. Similar to the removal effect of having stored tears set to off, we can have a truck removed from the inbound table even when stored tears is on. To do this, we must simply use a decimal in the truck ID. So with stored tears set to on, if you performed a weigh out with 1, it would still be in the database. But if you weighed out a truck with an ID of 1.1, then it would be removed from the inbound trucks database. The final parameter we are going to explore in this video is value swapping. I will press the setup button and be prompted for a password. This is a different password from the inbound trucks so I will enter the appropriate password of 1. If value swapping is enabled we will always end up with a positive net value. If value swapping is turned off however it will be a negative weight if you weigh in heavy and then weigh out light. I will now set value swapping to off. Now that I have changed that parameter to off, I will hit exit to return to the weigh screen. At this point, I will load my truck onto the scale and press weigh in. I will use an ID of 3 for this transaction. When I press done, it will now show my weigh in is complete, but my weigh in and weigh out buttons are still visible because I set the truck exit parameter from required to disabled. This allows me to leave my truck on the scale, but to unload or load as I choose fit, and then press the Way Out button. I will type in my ID of 3 again, and then press Done. This will give me another ticket, and as you can see here, since I turned off value swapping, and my inbound weight was higher than my outbound, I now have a negative net weight. This has been part 1 of our two-part series, 1280 Truck In Out, an in-depth explanation. Thank you for your time.